So I am at Newquay Airport and I'll try and start a bit of a travel vlog today. I'm flying to Spain to Alicante to see my parents for a week. I am at Newquay Airport, which, are, which is our local airport. And at the moment it's fairly quiet here. I'm keeping my mask on just in case. I got my knitting, I've just had a bit of breakfast. Still got a bit of hot chocolate to finish and then I got my knitting. So I'm going to sit here, relax, do a bit of knitting. I've got about two hours in my flight because we got here way too early. Because even when the airport is only 40 minutes away, we get here way too early or I get here way too early. So I'd rather be here too early than too late. So yeah, looking forward to the week in Spain. Thank you for watching. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. If you haven't um, subscribed yet, if you're already subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog from my trip to Spain.
by the time I got off the plane today I had knitted nearly 50 rounds on this cow and I had a suspicion it was slightly too big so when I got to my parents flat I uh, put on a longer um, cable and I tried it on and it was too big so I ripped it out and cast on again um, I probably did I did 30 of those 50 rounds today so I'm a bit annoyed because I was nearly halfway I think <laughs> but it was too big so we ripped out and cast on again I'm sitting on my parents balcony on the roof terrace fortunately the wall is quite high so I can't really see anything except for rooftops the sea is in the distance down there I can just about see it but other than that I can just see rooftops but it is very warm and lovely to sit here normally when we come in the summer it's too hot on the roof terrace um, so we can't sit up here, you can't even go barefoot up here because it's just too hot, apart from first thing in the morning. So it's quite nice to be able to sit here. Um, it is quarter past five in the afternoon. I've been up since five o'clock this morning and I didn't sleep very well last night so I'm getting tired. We went straight after lunch when we got here. Um, went to a fish and chips in an Irish restaurant across the road, which was very, very nice because I was hungry after a long day travelling. Um, so now we're just kind of relaxing evening. On the balcony, probably go to the downstairs balcony once the sun starts going down and uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll go to the beach. Well, first apologies for the printer going in the background. Um, I'm actually filming this the same time as I filmed my last Vlogtober video because I forgot to include it. So I'm worried if I don't film it now, I'm going to forget it again uh, because the next couple of days are just so busy. So I'm filming this on Sunday afternoon. I've been working for a couple of hours and I'm just printing out some notes for my workshop on Tuesday. So apologies for the printer going in the background. But I just wanted to tell you about the new issue of Knitting Magazine, which came out a few days ago. Uh, normally the sample comes back before I... Um, before the magazine arrives but it hasn't but there's been all kinds of problems with the post lately uh, because of strikes and things and I have a couple of things I should have been here to speak but I haven't so I thought I would show you what this looks like if the sample comes back uh, tomorrow when I film, uh, yeah if the sample comes back tomorrow I'll add that to the video if not I'll show it to you when I come back from Spain so that's what the sweater looks like Try not to get the glare from my light. So it is um, knitted in fiber space vivacious DK and cumulus held together. Cumulus is alpaca and silk kind of lace weight yarn. So it's similar to kind of a lot of the mohair yarns that are available at the moment, but it's uh, alpaca, I think. Suri alpaca? I think that's it. Um, and I would say slightly less kind of sheddy, it sheds slightly less. I did have some here, um, I have some here, but it seems to have gone missing. I can't find it anywhere, but um, it's really nice to knit with. So I was holding a strand of DK and lace weight together, so it makes it quite a nice, fluffy, uh, warm jumper, um, or cardigan rather. Um, it has it's knitted uh, to. So the body, the body is knitted in one piece and then the sleeves, stitches for the sleeves are picked up around the armhole and then the sleeves are knitted from the top down in the round with short row sleeve caps. That is my favourite sleeve construction and seems to be the way I'm doing sleeves on a lot of sweaters at the moment just because I really like it. Um, let me just check a couple of the things in the pattern. Um, it's not that long since I knitted it and I actually did knit it myself but I still can't remember what I did so let me just double check um yeah so the front and back the two fronts and the back was knitted separately and then the shoulder stitches were joined and then you picked up stitches um around the armhole and did the sleeves uh, and the back of the sweater is all in stocking stitch the sleeves are in stocking stitch so it's just the front of the body that has the lace panel on it and it's knitted in or knitted with rather five millimeter needles so it's quite quick um it gives you almost like an iron weight light iron weight texture holding the two strands together 
and it's really cozy I wish, wish again I wish it was in my size um lots of really nice patterns in this issue nice to see a slightly more mature model on the cover as well um let me show you a couple of the other samples in here uh there is a very nice men's design men's sweater which I really like I mean it could be unisex sweater to be fair it's the Aaron Island Icelander Islander no Islander Aaron Islander by Pat Mancini and there's some fingerless gloves mittens that could also be unisex that matches um there is a style guide so that's my top at the bottom and then they show you like different things or different colors and different things you can wear with it which i always think is quite good fun i always get some ideas when i look at that and there are some other designs um some socks and another cardigan it's got a very kind of autumnal feel this issue really nice shawl and another cardigan lots of cardigans um the shawl is by brian smith and then there's my cardigan and a sweater and another sweater it's got a country living i think is the kind of theme this issue and there are some book reviews some yarn reviews um a interview with joe allport who's just published her first book ten thousand knitted hats wow that's a lot of hats uh, and then there's another interview with a uh, designer and teacher mieka john Apologies if I apologize if I pronounced your name incorrectly. It's called the Business of Knitting and it has um it's an interview plus a picture of some of her knits. So I'm looking forward to reading that. I might take this to Spain with me when I go and read it on the plane. And then there are some like Christmassy bits at the front. Um and a what's on guide. So yeah, it's a great issue, um, as usual. I've not time to really look at it properly yet, but I'm looking forward to sitting down reading it. I'll probably take it a holiday with me and maybe read it on the beach while I'm away. Another thing that I rather I forgot to share is the this book, um, Knitting Fresh Brioche by Nancy Marchand. I've actually wanted this book for a while. It's been kind of saved uh, in my library, um, in my amazon save for later or whatever it's called for a while it wasn't a cheap book um but it was 20 something pounds which is quite thick it's got 75 unique um stitch patterns plus 12 stunning wraps and scarves so i mainly wanted this for the stitch patterns it's a brioche book and it has several it has lots of um stitch pattern ideas which is really useful when you're designing. It's got some technique stuff at the front. At the back, it has some actual patterns. And then in the middle, it has 75 different stitch patterns. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Looking forward to digging into that book. I've only had a quick look at it so far. It's a book I've wanted for a while.